Hey everybody, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and today we're going to watch Dr. Stone episode 12 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this TV show really are. シンデトンだよ。シャガンダ高さに流下水素が溜まってた。うん。いや、this so what he's saying about when the professor, whoever that was, kneeled down and then he was inhaling that hydrogen sulfide and he died, that is, it's not so far from reality because different gases do have different densities. So like if you ever see like in a like liquid, you can have like different colors all layered on top of each other. That's because they all have different densities. Gases behave in the same way. One of the applications for that is if you're ever in a fire, they would tell you to like crouch down and then kind of like crawl out that way. And the reason for that is because smoke will rise to the top. So if you're like standing upright and you're walking out of a burning building, you have a much higher chance of breathing in the smoke because the smoke is closer to the ceiling, not closer to the ground. So you want to be as far from that as possible, which is why you're like crouching and moving out. The way that hydrogen sulfide kills you is by stopping cellular respiration, which means your body cannot make ATP. If your body's not creating any energy for any sort of reaction to take place, you will die very, very quickly. I believe cyanide works the same way. Hydrogen sulfide is commonly found around like volcanoes and areas like this crater he has here. So where Senku is leading them past the hot springs, this does look like an environment in which hydrogen sulfide would be found. But I also want to emphasize how acidic hydrogen sulfide really is. And it's you usually if you have hydrogen in front of a chemical like formula, it's pretty acidic. I don't know why hydrogen just does that. I I I used to know why I can't remember. The with notable exceptions like H2O. I mean, it, water just defies every rule. I mean, they have separate like they have rules for chemistry and then they have rules for water as like two different things. The deal with this silver spear turning black if it's exposed, like, I don't know how true that is. Just, I I've never encountered, like, silver <laughs> interacting with hydrogen sulfide. Like, I, I really don't know how that reaction would take place. I mean, that's pretty unique and I've never come across it. So, I, I can't tell you if that's legit or not. How exactly would Senku do that? I mean, they're like they're literally living like in the Stone Age, right? Like Doctor Stone, and there's. I mean, so I, I've already accepted the fact that it's possible for these people to communicate already. Like, assuming that they speak the same language would already be a stretch. But let's just, for the sake of conversation, say that's the case. How would Senku be able to really like pass on any information? Like there's no books, right? Like th th these, these people are not literate. The only person who knows how to read and write in this whole village is Senku. So even if he were to pass down all the knowledge and like write everything out in his head, nobody would be able to read it. <laughs> <sighs> They're gonna die. I have very, very little faith in these gas masks. I guess, like, I know how they work, is the whole thing is, like, the hydrogen sulfide is gonna come, like, in through the bottom of those tanks, and that's gonna react with the charcoal or whatever mixture they have in there. And through that mixture, they're going to get like clean air that's going into their lungs. Like, this is all very, very speculative. And I don't think that they're going to walk out of the situation alive. More than science, you better be praying to God that this is going to work. Because it, even the slightest, like, misstep in this case is going to kill them. Because, like, really, like that, that oxygen mask is, like, making it so pure hydrogen sulfide is going right into them if anything goes wrong. And this seems like it's going to go very wrong. 
Not to mention that even though like in those like uh, I guess like containers like on or, like the tanks on their backs with the charcoal like mixture inside of them what if just a little bit of hydrogen sulfide gas gets through and doesn't react with the charcoal you know because like just even a very small amount is enough to make you like dizzy and you can pass out you might not die but i mean you might as well be dead if you're passing out and there's a bunch of hydrogen sulfide gas around you one question i do have for someone who's as intelligent as senku is just why don't he just build a crane and then have like a glass bottle at the end of it or something and then just like scoop out the hydrogen sulfide from the lake. I mean, I don't understand why you have to go in there yourself when you can just like kind of toss a bottle and just like rope it back in. I've been scuba diving for over 10 years now and I can tell you with absolute certainty the scuba diving masks that we use underwater are the safest gas masks that you could ever wear. Because those things are like 100%. You are not breathing anything in your environment around you that goes into your lungs. Like the only stuff you're breathing is what's in your tank. With the scuba diving masks, it's not just you're not breathing the air around you. You're literally under the water. So nothing from your environment is going to enter your lungs while you have that mask on. These are the same type of masks that firefighters will use when they're running in to, you know, put out a fire. And the reason for that is exactly the same thing. Like, they don't want any of the smoke to enter their lungs. That's why they don't use any masks like these that allow air to come in and then is purified. They just want to have their own separate oxygen tank and put the mask over their nose and mouth. That way nothing enters their lungs except for clean oxygen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found some value in it and you want to see more Dr. Stone, go ahead and comment it down below or any other sort of movie or TV show you want me to watch, go ahead and put that in there as well and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.